Stephanie. Hello, Ashley. Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm sorry. She's okay. You look like a girl I interviewed named Ashley, Ashley out here. But it's very nice to meet you, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. My name is USA Fox. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. Where are you from? Ben Salem. All right. How old are you? 29. Okay, okay. What brought you out here to Kids in Philadelphia? Uh, drugs. And it's like I lost everything in one, one day. And that's all I had to go. I don't know where else to go. You lost everything in one day? Yeah. Got kicked out of my apartment. And that's all I had to go to. And you had nowhere else to go, so you came to Kensington? Yep. How old are you again? 29. Let me know. And you really get stuck, too. Are you currently addicted to any drug substances at the moment? Yeah. What's your current addiction? Uh, dope and hard. How often are you using these substances? Every day. How many times a day would you say? I'll take all day, but I could go to like two bags a day, if that. But smoking hard, it didn't. I could smoke hard all day, you know. That's the more money, the more the more you smoke. How are you managing to make money to afford these substances? Walking. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said walking. The F. Walking. Yeah. The F. Yeah. What's it like walking the F? Sucks. But. Are you able to still uh, make money out here? Is it easy? I'm saying or. Yeah, I mean it's easy. It's easy to make money. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be out here for hours and make no money. What are your customers like? It depends. You get like the ones that are, are like nice, then you get the ones that are the assholes and you really go through some shit. Like it traumatizes you somehow. Would you say they're mostly nice or they're mostly ill? They're mostly nice. That's why like, I won't, I won't get. Train is noisy, right? Yeah, it's loud as shit. It's like, um, if, if I'm not comfortable just by looking at the person, I'm not gonna just get in a car, you know? Mm -hmm. Or if like, if I do get in the car and still not comfortable, I, I don't know how to say it. I just, I just, it's just like, I, I know when it's okay and when it's not okay, I guess. I mean, sometimes shit happens. I don't mean to curse, but. So how long have you been uh, getting in and out of in and out of cars for? How long a have you year. been going there? I've been out here for like two years, so I for like a year. And how did you get exposed to doing doing that? Just meeting girls out here, I guess you could say. When I first came out here, I wanted to do it. I get so many people asking me, no, no, but it got to the point where it was the only option. I can't boost. You ever get tired? Yeah. Of oh, uh, working? Yeah. Like it really does something to your mental. And I already, I don't know, it's just, it's like the other night, I was walking for four hours in circles trying to come back here because somebody just like, was like, just go. You know, it took me out of nowhere and just told me to find my way back. Hmm. You had to walk four hours to get back? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, that, that was hard. What, what kind of date pays the most for you? Well, it depends. They're all different. It really, there's really no, there's really no, like, what do you say? Not category, like, really a specific. They, they, they all, sometimes you get the ones where, you're desperate, and you know, they know you're desperate, or you'll get the ones that'll pay like 100, you know, like more than that. Events. Right. So, what's your current living arrangements? <laughs> Out here? Where you coming up? 
know. How long has it been like this? How long have you been out I here? I mean, it'll be on and off. There'll be moments where I find somewhere to stay, but then it just never lasts long. And then I had to come out here. And when, that's when, like, it'll be days, not days, but, like, I don't like sleeping out here. Especially when I'm by myself. You ever shack up with your dates and they put yeah. you up in the hotel or something like that? Mm hmm that's it. Sometimes that's it. during the winter, oh, that, that was the best. And especially like take a shower. And there was um, there was a couple dates where I wound up staying for a week, over a week, and they just they just give me money like every day. You, know? you ever get the the weird, creepy fetishes that they might <laughs> yeah request? I'll never forget the first time the guy um, with feet, but like he wanted like stinky, like he wanted your feet to stink. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and then that's weird too. But then sometimes it's better than just doing other stuff. I'd rather be awkward and demon shit. Oh, palsy. Huh. I'd rather be like awkward or something doing that than. Doing something else, you know. Right, right. <clears throat> what What's the worst request you ever got? The worst? Uh, I don't even. I don't even know, really. It's not that I got a a bad request. It's just getting the 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 weird the weird guys where. Where they're like nice at first, and then when you're out in the middle of nowhere, that's when they turn into the freaking weirdos. And... Mm. Does any of your dates ever use with you? Yeah. yeah. Not so much dope. I smoke hard. Mm. Barely any dope. I got like one or two. Does any of the other uh, male addicts that might be homeless out here try to uh, do dates with you? Yeah. Yeah. They're the they, ones that try to be like, oh, I got a bag. Or, nah, nah. You ever accept those dates at all? Not really, no. Not really? No. Have you become close with anybody out here yeah. in this, the year you've been here? Yeah. You have some friends and everything? Yeah, and most of them are guys, though. And it's not even like when, like any type of, you know, like do anything relationship. It's mm -hmm. They're just genuinely good people. Mm -hmm. It's the girls out here, like, they're they're the ones that hate on you the most for no reason. Is it a competition out here at all? Yes and no, I guess you can say. It depends. Depends on how you look at it. Like, has, has a woman ever stolen one of your dates? Oh, for me, yeah, I guess. But that, it, it really won't bother me. Unless, like, I really needed it. But. Do, uh, has any of your, uh, customers ever requested the, the girlfriend experience thing? Uh-huh. I don't do that. You don't do that with them? Uh-uh. Right. Well, what does that, what does that, uh, consist of? It's just being with another girl, and I don't like girls. Oh, oh, it's that? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. So what did you want to be growing up? I don't even, I don't even remember. I don't even, can't, I don't even. Can't quite remember. Successful somehow. I know, I know whatever I put my mind to, I can really like exceed in it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just, just being somebody, I guess you could say. You have any kids at all? Yeah, three. I mean, Three kids? Yeah. Plan on getting back to them? Yeah. I'll get there. Mm hmm You're gonna work on it, right? Can't take care of them if I can't take care of myself though. You have any you have a support system at all? Any family members? You have a support system at all? Any family members trying to get you up off the drugs? Help you get off the drugs? I feel like no. I mean, probably. I don't talk to him, so. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Really got myself out here. Yeah. If you can make three wishes right now, what would they be? Um, I wouldn't really say to stop using the drugs. I would mm -hmm. say to not let them control me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, Get back to how I was and just get off the streets. You, you don't want to stop using drugs. You just don't want them to control you. Yeah. Because people, people look at it bad. But if they really knew, like knew me, I'm kind of more better smoking than I'm not. You know, you know what I'm saying? Especially dope, hard. I could trip out. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I, sometimes I need to put down the pipe. I can accept that. But, um, but like smoking dope, it it helps me a lot. Did you ever anxiety. did you ever try weed at all back then? You know, feel like that. I, I, I just smoke a lot of weed, but now it skits me out. I smoke weed and now it skits out. It skits out more than smoking smoking hard. It's weird. I get all paranoid and. You don't want to. You don't want to quit smoking dope at all, though. Right now, though, no. it helps. I see you got some tattoos on your leg. You into tattoos? Yeah. All right. What's your favorite tattoo? Uh, yeah, this one. Oh shoot! Well, this Other is Michael. This, 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 this is Michael right here. It says host. That's but you it said it's what? Host. It says host. The host part. Host. Is a tattoo. Yeah. Oh, that's not Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It's supposed to be Holy Ghost. I just never got the Holy G mm -hmm. yet. So like this part is a tattoo, but like this one, that's the one I did. That's oh, you did that? Yeah. Okay. What mo what motivated the tattoos? I don't know. I just got a tattoo gun and I got bored. Right, right. Really? That's a good I hobby. I did this one too. You did that yourself? Maybe you could be an artist one day. Uh huh. So what's the craziest thing you've seen out here in Kansas and Philadelphia in the year span you've been out here? Well, you've probably um, been out here on and off a little bit. The craziest shit. You see crazy things every day. But, um... I mean, I had crazy things happen to me. I had, I had, I don't even know. Can't even, like I had people put knives out on me. I seen someone get shot. Mm. I guess that's crazy. Have, have you ever overdosed? Mm -hmm. How no. many times you OD? Um, since I've been doing drugs, like probably four times. The last time was the worst, though. I guess they narcan me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that, it makes you sick. Mm. Like, I was um, I was in line getting food, and I don't even, I don't even remember. I just, I just remember saying that, like, I like lost my balance or whatever. Next thing you know, I'm waking up. All these people are around, around me. I forgot I was in line to get food, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, you just overdosed. I'm like, all right, if I overdose, leave me alone. Like, why are you surrounding me? You know, like I was, I, I woke up so angry. Mm. Forgot I was in line. That's why everybody was around me. I wound up like leaving and just laying down, right, like just right in a little corner. And I was just so sick. I didn't know they narcan me. Like, no wonder why I felt so sick. For hours I was throwing up and I had nothing to, like, people would, and they'll just walk by you. When's the last time you've been sick? Right now. Right now you're sick? Yeah, well, a little bit. It's not like to the extreme, but. So you got to use like every three or four hours, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and the more sick you get, the more you like just want to yeah. do a date so you can get the money. Uh-huh. Are you managing to feed yourself? Yeah. Shit, I eat good. I ain't going to lie. You good? <laughs> That's good. That's <laughs> good. You see change for for this place, uh, Kansas and Philadelphia. You see change for it at all? Yeah, yeah. If people just knew how to, it's like kind of mind their own business without minding their own business. Like I understand, of course. Some people, like I, I, I'm, they, obviously you can't change the drugs and all that, but you can just learn how to manage it, I guess. How do you feel about the youth? Uh, coming up and starting to use drugs. Do you feel like they can manage it also at a young age? Uh, it's kind of, 
It's, it's kind of hard to explain because it's, especially if they're from out here, just they adapt to it. So like, is like, is it bad? Is it like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I didn't grow up out here, so like, I don't really know. So every day being around it and seeing it, if if seeing it will make you be like, yeah, I don't want to use it, or if seeing it was like, all right, what's so good about it? You know what I'm saying? But how how do you intake your dope? I smoke. You smoke it? Uh huh. Okay. Do you feel like you can get trank wounds from it or not? Yeah. You ha you can? Uh-huh. Even you, just smoking it. Have you got any trach wounds at all? Um, yeah. I, it's, like, it, say, say if you get, like, a mosquito bite or something. Like, I, I, my whole life, I've always been, like, a picker. Like, if, if I got, like, a cut in my, like, it's just, like, I don't know if it's so much just anxiety or just being bored or just nervous. Like, I always picked. And so you get, you get one of them out here, one just being, like, being out here like it'll get dirty quick but i realized lately nothing you smoke is good anymore like it's there's only one or two places that i'll go but even that my cuts will get worse and it's just been recently you know have you been to the hospital no got any medical attention at all mm -mm. do you manage to use protection on all your dates mm -hmm. yeah that's good. That's good. Do they ever request? Uh, Not nope. too, yeah. They do? Yeah. They ever offer to pay more or something like that? No. Not really. Hmm. It's just you gotta... I mean, always use it. Yeah, it's good. But if not, you just gotta know when it's okay and when it's not okay. I know my body. And I know... I just know when it's okay and when it's not okay. If it... if You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so. I watch it, all these diseases know, going on out I know, here. I know. You know, them guys is messing with it. Everybody out uh, here at the same time. So, that's yeah. Just it. What advice would you give the youth out here ripping and running the streets, following in your same footsteps? What, what would you tell them? Try not to. It's not worth it at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I mean,. Kind of some to some extent, because it does make you a little more wiser, I guess you can say, especially with people. But other than that, it's not worth it because you lose everything and not even have a chance. You uh, plan on ever quitting uh, ass? Uh -huh. Yeah. One day. <laughs> Probably not now, but to be honest. But. You have to stop the drugs first or... Kinda, because that's the only reason is for that. So. Do you like it at all or no? Not at all. Mm -mm. Are you religious at all? Nah. I wouldn't call. say I'm like completely religious, but I don't really. Is 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 not like I revolve around it. But. You grew up Christian. Uh uh. No. But I was never. I was always open to it, you know. Okay, okay. Well, Stephanie, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. My name is USA Fox. I make these videos for educational purposes only. God bless you, Steph. Thank you. Hi, guys. USA Fox here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.